Travis County Sheriff's deputies are searching for a second suspect wanted in a copper theft case that caused an estimated $100,000 in damage. It was out at a Lake Travis Marina. As KXAN's Ignacio Garcia found out, the case is a sign of a troubling trend that's costing more and more homeowners and businesses. Things may look picture perfect at Emerald Point Marina from the outside, but on the inside, managers are trying to figure out how to fix all the damage left behind by a copper thief. They aren't alone. When you hear about copper theft on the lake, is that something you're surprised by? Not at all. Not at all. It's been going on for a long, long time. Mark Cottle's company gets a lot of calls for dock repairs and installs, and many of them are repeat business because his clients keep getting targeted. We would do an install for a, L, uh, for a tram on a Monday, and it would, the wiring 300 feet would disappear Monday night. We put the same wire at the same location twice in one week. Cottle says these marine burglars often operate in the cover of night on board small power boats taking whatever they can get their hands on. A uh, battery on one of our service boats was stolen and uh, that happens frequently. We've had sabotage. We have people that are just bored. If they can't steal it and make a profit on it, they'll tear it up. Copper theft has become more common, especially when the lake levels are dropping. It becomes easier for thieves to cut and haul away the material, bringing them thousands of dollars in payoff. And as lake levels drop, the number of copper theft cases are likely to rise. It's visible. It comes to the surface and uh, it's tempting. The bottom line is things are disappearing and it's not aliens. <laughs> On Lake Travis, Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News. Deputies arrested one man, 44-year-old Michael Peck of Austin, and charged him with a second-degree felony criminal mischief. Peck told deputies of an accomplice, but that suspect has still not been found. Copper prices have risen in recent years, but right now they're down from an all-time high. Here's a closer look. Back in January of 2009, the prices of copper fell to about $1.30 per pound. But by April 2010, prices surged up to more than $4.50 a pound. Right now, a pound of copper goes for $3.21.